In this video, we will show you how to connect your VoiceFlow chatbot with N8N. N8N is a workflow automation platform, just like Make. Why N8N? It is fast speed of UI. The followings are the advantages that you cannot get from Make. N8N can be self-hosting with no cost. N8N is free to use and distribute, and is designed for both coders and non-coders. Users can run N8N locally on their PC or host it on their own server. Users can access N8N from anywhere after hosting it on their own server. It is built in JS Editor to implement powerful custom code. It is open source so you can have full control. It has attracted a lot of attentions. Let us go to the Google trend. We see the make has a flat curve while N8N has a sharp increase recently. This means more people are using N8N. If you are not one of them, now it is the time to switch to N8N. It is very easy to set up an account. Go ahead to fill out the information and you can start to use N8N to automate your workflow right away. Besides that, you can also do self-hosting. In this video, we will show you how to set up self-hosting to build a lead generation voiceflow chatbot. With self-hosting, we can have unlimited use with no cost. If you are using Mac, you can open Terminal. For Windows, you can open Command Window. If you do not have Node.js installed, you can Google and install Node.js on your computer. Then in the terminal, enter npx n8n to download and install the n8n package. It may take a few minutes. After that, you can see localhost with port number 5678. You can copy that and paste it to the browser address. On the web page, you can fill out the form. Some more information needs to fill out on this form. You can also click the button to get the free license key. Then, we are on the workflows overview page. This is also what you will see if you are using the planned account. So, if you pay for your use, you can follow along because the steps to build nodes and connect N8N to VoiceFlow are essentially same. We click to add the first step, which is a trigger. We select the on form submission. We can input the form title, form description, and form fields. The form URL is localhost 5678. If you want to get access from outside, you can enter npxn8n start tunnel. After that, you can see the tunnel URL, and your node will be available anywhere. For example, we add a webhook node on the flow. Double click on it. We can see the URL. Let us click to copy the webhook URL. We click the button to listen for test event. We go to Postman. Paste the webhook URL and click the send button. We see the 200 OK status. We also can see in the body, there is a JSON message. Workflow has started. Back to N8N, we see the green output on the top, which means it is successful. We can check parameters listed in the table such as headers, etc. Now the webhook icon becomes green indicating successful test. In the terminal, we enter npx n8n. This ends the tunnel, and we will use localhost. On the n8n flow, we have the form node. We double-click the icon. We can add form title and fields such as name, email. So the user can fill out the form and the data will be sent from VoiceFlow to n8n. If we click the button to test the step, we have a pop-up window. This shows the test version of the form. We can fill out the form and submit it. If we want to test it with VoiceFlow, we need to make the workflow active. On the VoiceFlow canvas, I have a very simple lead generation chatbot. We use a frame to show the N8N form. In the set block, we paste the form URL. The last block is a message block and contains the iframe to display the form so that the user can fill out the form. We publish the chatbot. In the cursor, we have the code window, which is same as the Visual Studio code. I have pasted the chatbot snippet from VoiceFlow. In the terminal, I have entered HTTP server, so we have the local host with port number 8080. We make a copy and will open it in the browser. In the chatbot, we can see the form with the name and email fields. The user can fill out the form and submit it. Let us fill out the form and click the submit button. We can see that it shows form submitted. 
your response has been recorded. This is very good. If we go back to N8NS workflow, we can click the Executions tab. We see the green Succeeded status. We double click the node icon. We can see the data table passed from VoiceFlow chatbot. We can choose JSON and schema with different formats. The data can be saved or passed to other databases, such as Airtable. We can connect to other nodes and automate the workflow. In the following, we will show you how to connect to Airtable and save the data there for the lead generation. If we go to Airtable webpage, we log on with the account. In the home, I have created a table. Let us click on it. In this lead gen table, I have four columns, which are name, email, phone, and address. The user can fill out the form on the VoiceFlow chatbot, and the data will be saved in this Airtable. We need personal tokens if we want to pass the data and save it in this table. In the drop-down list, we select the Builder Hub. Click the button to create a new token. We can give the token a name, e.g. lead gen, in this case. Then, we need to add scopes. We want to use this token to read and write the data records. We may also want to read and write the schema bases. Of course, you can add many others. But, I think these are enough for this tutorial. We also can add access. We select all workspaces. All looks good. We click the button to create the token. We can then click the button to make a copy of the token and we'll use it later. Back to the N8N workflow, we are going to add the Airtable node. We click the action in an app. We can see many options. We choose the Airtable. Because we will do lead generation, we select create a record. Next we need credential to connect with the Airtable. We can click to create new credential. In the box, we paste the Airtable token. Down here, we can see the reminder that we need to make sure we have the following scopes that the token can access. We already have selected the scopes, data records read, write, and schema databases read. We click the save button, and we see connection test successfully. This means the token works. Now it has selected the Airtable personal token. We check the resources record, and the operation is create. We can select the base. Also, we need to select the table, which is lead gen. We choose to map each column manually. We will select the data from the previous form node. If we click on the left icon we see the pop-up with the form. It has only two fields, name and email. We will add more fields. We click the button to add form field. We enter the name of the field, phone. The field type is text. We make this field required. We add another field with label of address. It is a text, and also required. You may add a placeholder as well. Until now, we have four fields in the form which correspond to the four columns in the Airtable. Back to the canvas, we have connected the form with the Airtable. We double-click to go to Airtable settings, and this time, we do see four fields. We can switch to the previous step by click on the left icon. Now we are on the form. It is very convenient. If we want to go to the next step, we can simply click the icon on the right. Now we are going to test the form step. Let us click the form URL. We click the test step button. Now the form is waiting for the trigger and listening for the submission. We paste the URL on the browser and fill out the fields with name, email, and phone and address information. We click to submit the form. It shows the form submitted. Let us go back to N8N. We see the output with a green mark. On the right, we see the table data with all the information we have just submitted. This is great. Let us go to the next Airtable step. On the left, we see the input data from the form step. We are going to map the data to the Airtable. We can simply drag and drop the name, email, phone, and address to their corresponding fields. After execution the node in the background, we can see the green output on the right. Also, we see all the fields with their corresponding data. We should be able to see the Airtable with all the data as well. Let us go back to Airtable. We are now on the previous token page. We are back to the base. Click the Lead Gen tab. 
we are now on the lead gen table. We can see the data passed from the N8N form and saved on this table. Let us delete these three empty leads. On the N8N workflow canvas, we have the nodes for lead generation. We can save the workflow and make sure it is active because we are going to connect it with VoiceFlow. On the browser, we start a new conversation. We have the chatbot with the form, which has four fields now. Let us fill out the name as Ben, email as Ben at example.com, phone as 589-7432 and address as 2345 Street, Boston. Click the Submit button. We see form submitted. We see no errors. On the N8N canvas, we see the green marks on the nodes. In the Airtable, we see a new lead, which has the exact information we have submitted on the VoiceFlow chatbot. This means the whole flow has been processed successfully. This is cool. On the N8N workflow, we click on the Executions tab. We click the most one on the top. On the right, we see the output with the data passed in the workflow. We can switch from JSON format to table format and to schema format. This is very powerful and you can choose one format to process your data. On the form, we also can check the data and all other parameters. I like the layout. We can see the input on the left and output on the right. It is very clear. It is also very easy to connect to VoiceFlow. On the canvas, we have a message block to ask the user to enter the information required in the form. In the set block, we set the URL variable using the N8N form URL, which will be passed in the iframe. Make sure you are using the production URL. You can copy that on the N8N. Click on the production URL tab, and you can see the production URL. The next message block has the iframe to display the form. I think the target attribute is not needed, let us delete it. We can quickly test it. We publish the chatbot and save the changes. We go to the main menu and click on the integration icon. Here we can see the snippet to embed the chatbot. We can make a coy of the code snippet. We paste the code snippet on the website HTML file. In the terminal, we enter the command HTTP sever. We make a copy of the localhost URL with the port number 8080. We paste the URL on the browser. We see the N8N form on the chat window. We fill out the form with name, email, phone, and address. All are the required information. Then, submit the form. It shows form submitted. There is no error. Good. Let us go to the Airtable. Bingo! We see the new lead displayed in the table. This is fantastic. The whole process has been successful. We have a lead generation chatbot. The entire flow has been automated. The leads are automatically saved in the Airtable. Back to N8N, we see the newly added execution on the top. On the editor, we have the form step and Airtable step. They are green marked indicating there is no error. With all the steps shown, you should have the feeling that N8N is easy to use. It is very easy to connect to VoiceFlow and automate the process with other applications. As shown, you can generate lead and save the data to Airtable, or you can use other databases, like Google Sheets. You can also automate the process to send emails. There are a lot of potentials. It is free and no limit of usage if you do self-hosting. This is very nice. Hope you feel the same as I do. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.